everybody and welcome back to Ours Trains. My name is Corey and as you've already seen in the title and I'm sure as you've seen in the thumbnail, we have a very special locomotive, well, or rather passenger set to welcome to the Ours Trains collection here. And that be this little, well actually not really little at all, it goes all the way into the tunnel, but this fella right here besides me, Lionel's classic MPC era Southern Crescent Limited train set. I am very, very happy to have this fella right here beside me and with the blue comet too. I mean, they're almost twin MPC era passenger train sets. Just besides the locomotives and the color difference, obviously, and the trucks on the cars, they really aren't that different. And when you're running these two side by side, Oh, it looks so good. All you need is the Chicago and Alton set to complete the little, I guess, Hudson type trifecta here. And then boom, you've got a, you got a whole lot of MPC on your layout. But anyways, though, we got to talk about why did I even get this fella here? Well, I can at least assure you that I, I didn't wake up randomly like on a Tuesday morning and decide, hey, you know, today I feel like getting the Southern Crescent. <laughs> But for me, it's it's so much more than just another beautiful MPC model train. But for me, it's another connection to my grandfather who passed away, Bob Ward. Or as you might know, the, the R and R's trains stands for Robert, his name there. But who I'll be referring to as Grampy, which is what I always called him. But luckily, I have many, many pictures from Grampy's original train layout in the MPC era after my dad and his siblings had moved out in the late 1970s, I guess you could say, is when Grampy got reins over the whole basement again because since my dad and his brother and his sister weren't there anymore, nor would they be using the basement from that point on since they had all went off to college and stuff. That means Grampy got to take over the whole room. And just like me, what happens when I get to take over the whole room? I guess it runs in the blood. <laughs> but we, both Grampy and myself, we built very big train layouts, but his was a lot bigger than mine. I mean, my layout here is probably only maybe one-sixth of the basement and his pretty much took up three-fifths of his basement so I'm not a math major and that's as much math as I'm using in today's video but Grampy had a huge layout and with the huge layout obviously he sought to collect many cool and different model trains now when these were coming out here these were the very top of the line Lionel products that they were offering at the time. So Grampy in 1978 for Christmas, I believe, because that's at least what was under the tree in 1978, got the blue comet here. And this one has been in the family ever since. This was the, this was him and my, oh, well, here you go, perfect. This was his and my favorite picture, or favorite train to run, but here's a picture of little me and him running the blue comet on his layout there. So that was our favorite favorite train to run, but, and luckily I got these pictures, but luckily I found that just deep in this pile of pictures on his train wall was the Southern Crescent. Now, it was only in one picture, and again I'll put the picture up here so you can see it yourself, but he only had it in this one picture, that was the only picture it was ever in. As compared to the Blue Comet, it is in so many of those pictures. So I'd have to go to believe that he probably didn't have the Southern Crescent set for too long. But I am almost confident he got it right when it came out in 1977. And I can throw up the catalog here too. He kept his 19, he kept it all his MPC era catalogs. And as a kid, I loved flipping through them. So we have the 77 catalog, which is the very first time the Southern Crescent came out. And then we have the 78 catalog. And what I loved about a kid is the 78 catalog was the fact that the Southern Crescent and the Blue Comet were right next to each other. And they look so good. I love that green and blue, it's classic. All you need is that Chicago and Alton Maroon right next to it. It feels like you have the, col the full color spectrum of MPC era trains and all. But I loved seeing those two together. And after seeing that one picture of it against the wall, I knew, okay, Grampy had it. He had the Blue Comet. He had both at the same time. I'm, I have to find the Southern Crescent. Because what happened 
was I'm, I'm probably in the mid to late 80s or 90s Grampy sold the Southern Crescent like most of his model trains and I actually have testimony from my mom because my dad doesn't remember it too well but my mom of all people remembered saying that she really remembered him downsizing his train collection in the mid to late 90s so perhaps with that downsize went away the Southern Crescent set for reasons I don't know but I had always wanted to find the Southern Crescent set so probably about a week ago by the time I'm filming this right now I decided to get the Southern Crescent set off of eBay. I was offered a very good price on it, and I would have been stupid to refuse it. I mean, the seller offered me, I think, like $100 cheaper than what he was selling for because he really wanted it to go, so I, I had to get it. I, I would have been dumb. I mean, the locomotive and tender and the six passenger cars, all with their original boxes, the whole set complete together in a one-time purchase, how could I not? So, got the set, came in a few days later on eBay, and then we can switch to the unboxing part. So, how, how did that go, Corey? All right, so the truck dropped this big old box off not even six minutes ago. So, I, I'm, this is the first time I've immediately jumped on the unboxing train. But anyways, let's get this friend open. Okay, I see it twice. Uh. Here we go. So we got our first car, the Observation car, the Robert E. Lee. It's a little hard to see through the packaging, but we have that fella there. The next one looks to be the combo car, I'd take it as. So this one is named the Andrew Pickens. So that will be that right there. Next up on the old list is the baggage car. That is the Joel Chandler Harris. So you go, you got this fella right there. Big box. Me likey. <laughs> we got the next one, the Southern Passenger Car. That's the PGT Beauregard. All right, almost there. The next one, a oh, little classic, the Southern Passenger Car, the Stonewall Jackson. A lot of Civil War figures in this one right here from the Confederacy. And finally, we have the add-on car to this edition. The, aw, oh, it's just named it the Dining Car. But you can kind of see it just a little bit. Sorry, did last, but not least. There you go, the Southern Crescent, my friends. I can't even remember the number on this fella. What was it, 8702? It's a classic old MPC box. Here you go. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the Southern Crescent. And just going over the, lo the whole set in a little more detail here. The locomotive, I'm pretty sure this is a 1977 release. Southern Crescent, number 8702 is the locomotive. She's a 464 Hudson type, modeled off of a post-war Hudson. I can't remember the exact number of that fella. But using tooling off of that on this model here, it's all die-cast metal locomotive with the separately applied handrails. The, lo the colors look really really sharp. I'm really happy. There's a few scuffs of paint here and there, but really it's in much be better physical shape or external shape than the blue comet is. But yeah, it's a he working headlight smoke unit. It used to have mighty sounds of steam, but the board went bad, of course, like many MPC steamers and like the blue comet as well. But besides that, the cars are very simple. They're all plastic, of course, with metal wheels, functional couplers, and I believe metal trucks, but they do kind of feel plasticky too. But yeah, just pr some pretty simple cars. Although, again, the paint job looks spectacular on them, but pretty simple four axle cars, and then your very nice locomotive here. So when you're running the whole set around, it looks Fabulous. I mean, just like the Blue Comet and all the other great NPC era passenger train sets. So I am very, very happy to have this fella a part of the collection. And it's really fun to rebuild my grandfather's train collection at its height when it was in the 1980s, 20 years before I was born, just about. So I'm really happy to have her back. And she looks so good next to the Blue Comet. So anyways, without further ado, let's get to running the Southern Crescent around.
right, and that is that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below. And if you're new to my YouTube channel as well, make sure to click that red subscribe button while you're down there too. But otherwise, that I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you all in the next video slash live stream slash whatever I do. So uh, stay tuned and bye-bye. Yeah!